Hi, I'm Tony and I'm a rehabilitation physicist. I provide personal assistance, medical attention, and emotional support to my patients. To prepare to become an RP, for short, I had to earn my master's degree and my PhD. The job involves critical thinking and active listening skills. My personal yearly income is around $187,000. However, people starting out as an RP receive... Oh, excuse me. Dr. Tony's office? Yes. Oh, okay, we have an opening Tuesday, November 17th at 3.30. All right, thanks, Karen. Bye. We provide personal assistance to our patients. To give you an idea of the increase of the profession, in 2004, there are about 170,000 workers, but by 2010, it increased by about 100,000. Within the next 10 years, the amount of workers should increase by 20 to 30 percent. The most highly populated region in the country of RPs is Illinois. I am staying in Boston as an RP, so there are many people. Oh, look, a patient. <laughs> So, this is my Tuesday appointment. This is my Tuesday appointment. This is, um, <laughs> that's James. Stop it. Okay. Like, he has elbow issues, so he sees me once a week. He has an arm issue, so he comes here once a week every Tuesday, and he stays for about an hour, but right now I'm offering him pie. That's like substantial progress. <laughs> substantial progress. <laughs> we decided to. Hmm. Say thank you for coming, James. Thank you for coming, James. He comes once a week. That's it. He's one of our miserable patients. He's one of our miserable patients. <laughs> Other co-workers that are in the same building as I, who aren't RPs, are also medical directors, pediatric physicians, and pain, pain management physicists. Okay. Hello, Joanne. Now, we are going to do another day's checkup on how your arm is doing. So, from last week to this week, how has your arm been feeling? Wonderful. Oh, no, no. It's been a lot of pain. A lot of pain. I'm glad I still have my... Oh, wait. I'm glad I still have my arm, but it's in a lot of pain. Okay. <laughs> now, what is your pain level right now? A 12. Okay, from 1 to 10, what is it? A 10. You don't have to yell, miss. I'm right in front of you. Okay. How much, let's see, by taking this off, let's see how much you can I'm in your so much pain. Okay. I'm oh, doctor, I'm in so much pain. Ow! <laughs> okay, now take it so off. So easy. Now let's see how much you can move your arm. Ow! <laughs> okay. Well, that was my foot, doctor. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ah! Ah! Okay. So let's measure how much you can move it right now. Ow! Ow! Okay, you moved it about two inches. That's it? Two inches. All right. So explain how this happened. Well, I was climbing Mount Everest mm -hmm. a month ago with my great grandparents. Okay. And they're both in their 90s and they're doing wonderfully. Okay. However, I got stuck on the ledge and I accidentally slipped 2,000 feet down the mountain. And you sprained an arm? And I sprained my arm. Okay. I toddled everywhere. <laughs> okay. Over and over and over. You know what happened was you sprained an arm. Okay. Um, so, what pain medication were you prescribed to take? Lots of Advil. Advil? Lots of Advil. How strong was it? 200 milligrams. How many times do you take them a day? Four times a day. Sometimes six. How many do you take together? Three. Okay. So, 200 milligrams, three a day. Yes. Uh, three times when you take them for a day. All right, now we're going to try 
exercises with your arm. So let's try moving it upward first. I can. Ow! Ow! Okay, now let's move it outward. Ow! Ow! All right. Now what you want to do is try and move that, do that um, every day, in the morning and at night. And now we're just going to measure the angle of what your arm is right now. What's my angle? <laughs> your angle is 43 degrees. Oh, okay. And you want it to be at 180 degrees, so you're almost there. Ow! Now you're at 76. I can't go that way. Okay. <laughs> ah, much better. <laughs> okay. So... Why don't you come back next week and we'll see how your arm is doing and you just want to keep doing those exercises. Now let's put this back on. <laughs> okay. There you go, Joanne. Now, have a great day. Thank you, doctor. And I'll see you next week. Okay, same time? Yep. Same bat channel? Huh? <laughs> Okay, thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed my video of rehabilitation and physicist my overview. Cameo. Huh? Tony's mom's cameo. Okay, and um, that's it. Give her an A plus. Okay. Have a wonderful day.